Hello everyone, my name is Enchantermon, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Quest. Alright, um, quick public service announcement before we get started. I am sick. I have a head cold. So, uh, there may be some jump cuts in here in case I start coughing and end up hacking up a lung, because you don't want to hear any of that. So, just FYI. <clears throat> it's also why I sound a little, a little, a little rough, but, uh, just letting you know that. Um, alright, so, no idea where I am. But, uh, let's find out. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. Mm -hmm. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous, fantastical, floating island. Yeah, 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 that, uh, that's gonna go, it's gonna go great for you when you get up there. So, where do I want to go? It says it, it said the east. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. Oop, I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous, fantastical, floating island. You can't skip that dialogue, apparently. That's kind of weird. Um, I guess this is the east from where I am. That looks dangerous. On the right. But maybe not. What in the world? <laughs> There's what's his face from Shrek. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Sorry, my ears itching too. I don't really know why. Um, yeah, I, hopeful knights? I kind of doubt that. <laughs> it looked like more of the of the rejected four horsemen. Someone just ran by. Alright, well, forget that. Um, I want to see what goes the other direction. Man, my ear itches. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm not sticking my finger in my ear, by the way. That's gross. No. <laughs> no, no. Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph! Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. So, I can't... After all that graceful repelling, I was certainly not headed back that way. Why not? <laughs> okay, fine. So, I have the only money to my name. Alright then. So, what is this thing? I thought it was an animal, but... Oh! It's a horn! That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Gonna assume that the mouthpiece is around here somewhere. Or something that can serve as said mouthpiece. Three. There are three signs. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can go. Look like I can go anywhere else though. So. 
Ah, here we go. That was a bird. I thought I saw that little pink thing floating. I was like, what in the world is that? Well, this is pretty. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. This is nice. Probably gonna get lost or attacked by something. But it's nice. Hello, bunny. Does look like something's been rampaging through here. that view. Lovely. A lot of screens of nothing, though. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, what is that? That's a... That's a thing. What is that? Alright. I want to jump in the river. I'm not going that way yet. I want to see what's in that tree. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. To keep their golden egg in, of course. Oh, come on, Graham. Climb the... Nice. Good job. You knocked all the tools. Shame. The only tool left seemed to be a small hatchet. Into the river. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. <laughs> but I would if I could. <laughs> you, you bet your buttons I would if I could. It's... Alright, well I have a hatchet. I'm sure that'll be useful for something at some point. Uh, there we go. There we go. That wheel seemed freshly broken. How could you possibly know that? Yeah, someone's been through here chopping down trees and crap. Oh, it's this guy from the uh from the screenshots. Who are you exactly? Rumple Stiltskin? Ah, back, you dirty thieves! Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you <laughs> should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a... Ow! Oh, or a... Oh, oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you... I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and... oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day. And just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, wait, I get allowed to talk now? Jeez. 
Uh, could you repeat that? Try to keep up, son. Bridge is out, failed shortcut, flying rock, wheel broke, be a strapping lad, get tools, fix wagon, get a lift to the tournament! Jeez. Alright then. Uh. I have a. for using responsibly. I have a hatchet. What? What happened to the rest of my tools? My wheel mending kit was in that toolbox. You expect me to fix this wheel with only a hatchet? Hatchets are for destroying, not for fixing. What kind of game are you playing here, boy? An oh, adventure game. Oh, I know. Maybe I could use this blade to chisel a wheel out of driftwood. Or perhaps there you go. I could cut down a rubber tree plant and weave myself a wheel. You are not going to last three seconds in that tournament with that kind of stupid dream logic. Tell you what, you can keep my hatchet, but please bring me a real solution. You know, like a wheel, big, round, rolling, a wheel that goes here, like those... Oh my gosh. This guy is This guy is flipping crazy. Ooh, I'm a rock. No, I'm not. Oh, enjoy your broken wheel. That's Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. What kind How did you get across that river? What kind of a knight can't swim? Alright, well. Oh, jeez. Yay, quick time events! Well, that was easy. That missile wheel had me stumped! I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem! Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. <laughs> I like them. The timber of my voice, that's a good one. Oh dear. Hi there. I'm just, uh, just passing through. Don't mind me. Hello. Here, kitty, kitty. Not a kitty, not a kitty! Oh, come on! I want you to die. I want to find funny death sequences. Hmm. No wheels are there. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey. An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I don't suppose I can use my hatchet on these. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Like a lawnmower. No. <laughs> in there. Oh, hey. Where is this? Nothing, nothing, nothing. <coughs> Maybe I need the holy one-ton tomato of Antioch. person in Navantry, not at the parade? Probably. Take care of that. Alright, so... I could steal one of this guy's wheels. No, I don't want to close the door again, you doofus. Got some pies. Got 
got some random things that don't do me any good. We'll go in there in a little bit. Nothing useful at all. This is looking a little weird. What are you? Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. <laughs> what? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> warm up to it. <laughs> I wished I had some marshmallows. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I found a mushroom. Can I eat it? And grow sizes? Alright, before I leave... Is that a paddle? Alright, before I leave here... Let me check and see what's in here. Looks like a blacksmith shop of swords. Of sorts. Oh, why am I so slow? No, it's a small. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Well, I have some coins, but there's no one here to do anything. Big, round, that should do the trick. Oh, really? We're going the uh, we're going the King's Quest Seven route here. There's no, uh... Wait. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Yeah, but you're also stealing stuff. And then you scooped up all the oh, weapons, shut up. right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, no, I Gwendolyn didn't. I, didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Not a fight. So why am I just stealing the, the um That sign was asking oh, for right. tips Oops. and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I guess I decided to leave some coins for the shield. I probably should since you you know, freaking stole it. <laughs> if you didn't. I don't know. I kind of feel like, yeah. I kind of feel like there's another solution somewhere else. But maybe not. A bakery, and it smells delicious. Um. <laughs> you don't mean to tell me that I could have used that, do you? I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Wow, really? So I could have... <laughs> really? <laughs> A huge loaf of bread. All that right. sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Yes it is. And yes there is. Really, a loaf of bread I could have used for a wheel. I feel better about the shield, honestly, because I can actually return the shield and it'll be of some use to someone. No one's gonna want to eat a loaf of bread that's been rolling around on the ground. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. A table. Oh, that one makes sense. Uh. 
I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. Where's the fun in that? Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. Yet. Against the knickknacks was a little collection tray with a sign asking for tips. All right. Well. Have my wheel, but let's go this way and see what else. Oh, hi. Hello, could I squeeze by you gents? No. We are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. By the <laughs> way, boys, you're on the lookout for intruders. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Stop being useless and help us watch for thieves. Oh, the irony is delicious. Alright, well, I will head back to... I'm gonna leave the door open just to get on their nerves. Oh, jeez! Ah, a shortcut! Scared the crap out of me. Shortcuts are good. So I wasn't really looking forward to running through that entire forest again. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? Yes. Oh, no, I guess not. <laughs> Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Got it. Oh, this might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Yes. It's quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm, just like my shorts. This is perfect. <gasps> I hope you didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! A vast! Stop! A vast? We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. <laughs> Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step! We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape! Bon voyage, buttercup! Don't forget about us working, folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Jeez. He's gonna be back. I can tell. The Hi guys. Is blocked until this situation is under control. But we just came through. Really? Well, maybe we came from that way. I don't know. What situation? Back away. Back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Commoner, I will punch you in the Hello. face. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name The List, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, <laughs> with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You need to <laughs> worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon. And then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. 
Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in <coughs> distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. <laughs> a tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Oh, that's fine. I'm sure I'll find some way to convince you to let me across. Because I don't think those guys are going to be of any help fixing this bridge. Just a thought. Come at me, bees! Well, there's that, but that's obviously not going to help. And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, what if I stand on this side? No. Very important protection duties in process. Oh, shut up. Ah. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. What if I bury my hatchet in your face? <laughs> so someone has to be in distress, huh? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. What if I jump in the water? Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Huh? <laughs> Distress! <laughs> Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. Ugly. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> oh, And running. Mind Hi guys. Let us big kids figure this one out. Yeah. Another horn and another missing piece. Here's a rope. There you go. Death. Up 
voice sounds familiar too. Oh, it's from King's Quest VI. It sounds like the one in King's Quest VI. Uh, <laughs> my bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? Technically, it's not brand new. It's brand new to you, but you found it. <laughs> Use my small hatchet on this humongous tree. <laughs> Look at him standing there. Holy crap. <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. But, works for me. Pardon me! Really? All right. <laughs> what in the world's up with that guy? <laughs> Distress. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I suppose that's a thing. Let's go all Echo Quest on this, son. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? How would you Quite know? Everyone always asks about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. Huh? How would you possibly know you wouldn't need it anymore? Oh, well that was dumb. Ka-ching! Yay. Da, 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 da. Wait, what? That's... Wait, that was there the whole time? Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um... How did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn-flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer... Pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. 
If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. There you we go. should head inside the theater, though. <laughs> Let me know how I can help. If I'm not mistaken, that sounds like the inconceivable guy from The Princess Bride. A lot. Now, I'm not really sure how I knew his name was Mandy, but I'm per I saw that one coming a mile away somehow. But that sounds like him. I don't know, I think my legs are a little too long to do what he just did. Just, uh... I don't still have my raft, do I? No, I can't get my rope back. Yep. But that's okay. That, uh... What? Oh. That worked out. <laughs> They're all missing their mouthpieces. Another horn and another missing piece. Am I going to find all of the missing pieces or am I going to have to run around um, and take it with me from horn to horn? Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Woo! Yay. <laughs> and I Yay. do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. <laughs> Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Okay. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Oh, well that's nice. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if, and only if, the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Uh, the bridge was out. <laughs> what? Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. I. Yakamata! Afamata? Shweki! Afamata! ...between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost! <laughs> If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't awesome. have much time. Then, a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only action! I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand. I escaped. And adventured onward. Oh, how delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go anywhere. They had me surrounded. I watched the flames grow, each ember reaching closer to my face. Then, 
I knew there was a way out. I blew as hard as I could, what? countering that incendiary torture device and extinguishing each and every flame. The horde inched toward me, their cults like call ringing through my ears. Okay, it's enough. I that. leapt up <laughs> and kicked one. Hi. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Uh, I've been going for for a little bit now. Um, this is interesting. Can I can I test the happy adventure? It seems I tell this legend every year. Can my test of chivalry be that I uh, helped the guy with the wagon wheel? That was just kind of chivalrous, right? Oh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, end it here and pick it up in the next chapter. So, Or next episode, rather. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, bye.